Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israelite foreign brothers that are like the heathens. But the line of outside was back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes? Latinos and Arab Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a mock back of lesson. And on today's lesson, I'll be going to Psalms, the first chapter. And um, as Brother C, the title of the chapter, um, the righteous and the wicked contrasted. You know, so, um, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there. <clears throat> be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashamon Shai, you know. And um I'm gonna start from the book of Psalms chapter one and verse one. And it reads, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That's right, man. You know, and let's define that word counsel. And you look it up in the blue letter, uh counsel is from the Hebrew word I Aitaza, Aitaza which means advice, purpose, plans, right? You know, so counsel goes into the plans, you know, because what are the plans for the Elisa Esau? The plans for the Elisa Esau is to have us Israelites in the state of derision, man, in the state of uh, folly, you know, uh, in the state of uh, not knowing who we are, you know, being ignorant to the fact that we are true Israelites, man. You know, and I'm reading again, it says, Blessed is the man that walk of not in the counsel of the ungodly. Right, so the, the elect, which is a blessed man, is not going to be walking in the counsel of the ungodly, being in engulfed in black culture, Hispanic culture, Native American culture, you know, which were which was engineered by Esau to help, uh, you know, push us further from Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. You know, being a rapper, being a a, a, a thug, a thug nigga on the, on a block, man. You know. It says, "Nor standeth in the way of sinners." Yeah, so the the elect is not gonna stand in the way of sinners. You know. Now, you know, we are sinners. You know, but it's a difference between the repentant sinners and non-repentant. You know, see us in this truth. You know, we are repentant sinners. You know, we no longer worshiping these pagan holidays that the Lord despised. You know, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, you know, um, and so on and so forth, man. You know, not worshiping our birthdays, you know, not worshiping uh, Caesar, Caesar Borgia, which is Jesus Christ, you know, the so-called white man. Not worshiping Buddha, um, being a seven-day Adventist, a, a Muslim, you know. So the elect is not going to stand in those ways. You see, and the, and the non-repentant sinners, they're going to keep continuing to be engulfed in their folly, man, because uh, the God of this world has bind those that believe not. And the God of this world is Esau, Edom. So the so-called white man blinded Jake, which is really the Lord, but the Lord is using Esau to do it, to blind two-thirds of Israel for them not to receive the truth. You see, it says, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Right. You know, and let's look at that word scornful. It's uh, from the Hebrew word, lawataza, lawataza, which means to scorn, make mouths at, talk arrogantly. You know, so a scorner is another word for scoffer, meaning, you know, talking shit, man. You know, laughing at the men of the Lord. You know, the elect is not going to be doing that, man. You know, it says, um, they're not going to be in the spirit of a scoffer. The elect is not going to be in the spirit of a scoffer, man. It's the scorner. You know, it says, verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord Yahweh. Right. You know, because at the end of the day, the, the elect, you know, uh, delights in the law of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because the elect understands that why the Lord wanted us to follow his laws, his commandments, man, to keep us holy. To keep it separate from all the heathen nations, man. You know, and now 
we understand why the Lord, you know, says certain things in the law. You know, you know, for example, you know, um, you know, committing adultery. You know, when uh, adultery is when a man sleeps with another man's wife or when a woman that's married to a man, to her husband, sleeps with another man. That's adultery. You know, and now that we see no judgment for that, now, you know, adultery is just normal. You know, uh, the spirit of decadence is just normal, man. You know, and there's no judgment. And the people that's not getting judged for that, they, they're very powerful. You know, and they spread that 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 spirit on other others to uh you know, they influence others to to do so too, you know, and in movies. Um Esau influence influences the people of the world to commit adultery like it's cool, uh by way of his movies, his T V shows, the music, you know. So that's just an example of why uh you know, why we understand why the Lord said thou shalt not commit adultery, man, because a lot of wickedness will 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 will, uh, will spread like a cancer. If you don't get rid of it, next thing you know, everybody doing it. You know, so you know, and, and adultery is wicked, man, very wicked, you know. So that's just one example of why we delight in the law of the Lord, because all the ways of Yahweh Bashalon Shah is righteous. You see? It says, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Because yeah, we meditate day and night in the precepts, man. You know? Because the scriptures talk about, you know, the ways of the Lord are past finding out. You know? So, the Lord gives us understanding by time, you know, to understand why he said that. Certain things, you know, in the law. You know? Well, all things in the law. Not certain things, but all things in the law. The Lord gives us understanding on why, you know, he, he wanted this law to be applied in the earth. You see, it says, verse 3, And he, talking about the man of the Lord, the elect, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Right, now, now whenever a tree is planted by water, you know, that tree is going to grow abundantly, you know. So the same thing applies for the elect. You know, because the elect is going to grow in grace. It's going to abound in their faith, man, by way of the works, the actions, their deeds, and the Lord. It says that bringing forth his fruit in this season, the fruit goes into your um, your deeds, your actions. Because our Lord Yahweh Shai said, hey, man, let's just get it real quick. Um, uh, a tree shall be known by its fruit, you know. It's in Matthew. This is uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 17. Um, it says, uh, let's see. Yeah, Matthew chapter 7, verse 17. It says, every so, Even so, every good tree that tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit, right? So this is a metaphor. The tree represents the individual, the person, the man, you know, and the fruit represents the deeds, the action, you know? So if you're a good tree, if you're a good man, you know, and it's truth, a good Israelite man that's following out the ways of the Lord, then you're going to bring forth good ways, good deeds, you know, be uh, have integrity, have morals. Stand up for truth. But if you're a corrupt tree, if you're a wicked Israelite man of faith, then you're going to bring forth evil fruit, evil ways. Uh, pushing false doctrine, you know, not teaching the true names of the Lord. You're sowing discord among brethren, you know. Um, you know, saying the Lord didn't do miracles. You know, just pushing false doctrine, man. You know, this applies to... to uh, Esau and the heathens too, you know, but, you know, it applies to everybody, you know. It says, so, verse 19, every tree that bringeth not forth good tree, fruit is hewn down. So every man that doesn't bring good works, you know, they're going to be hewn down, meaning uh, cut down and cast into the fire and, and destroyed, you know, in the lake of fire, man, you know. Um, 
by the ICBM missiles. You know, it says warfare by their fruits. You shall know them. Yeah. So by people actions, you're going to know them. You're going to know what type of person they are, you know, because a person can, um, you know, do a lot of lip service or I did this, I did that. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all about the actions that is the saying in the world. Actions speak louder than words. And that's true. You know, so you would know a man by his ways. You see? So let's go back. So I just want to get that to prove that the tree, as we read in Psalms, the first chapter, is talking about um, individuals, you know, man and woman, you know, mainly men, because the Lord deals with men. Um, this is uh, Psalms chapter 1, verse 3. It says, And he shall be like a tree, and this is talking about the man of the Lord, once again, the elect, uh, planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit. You know, his actions in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yeah, because the Lord is going to bless the elect men of Israel's hands with everything, man. Even though the, the elect men of the Lord is, is catches hell in this truth and go through a lot of things, trials and tribulations. But, you know, at the end of the day, the Lord has his prosper, man. You know, it says... Verse 4, it says, The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Right, you know, and what is chaff? Chaff is, is um, just look it up. Chaff is from the Hebrew word, mataza. Mataza, it says, Chaff always as always as driven by wind. Um, just look it up on Google. So you go to images. So this is chaff. You know, chaff is the undesirable, is the undesirables of the wheat. You know, so the undesirables, the chaff will be uh, wicked individuals. You know, the two thirds of our people, the wicked Israelites, that's not gonna repent, and Esau and the heathen nations. You know. So um, let's go back to it. It says, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, you know, which the wind drives away. You know, the wind represents destruction, that nuclear destruction, because that nuclear destruction is going gonna, is gonna to drive away the chaff. It's going to destroy the chaff. It's going to destroy two-thirds of Israel, the wicked Israelites, Esau, and the heathen nations, you know. It says, verse 5, it says, therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, right? You know, because the Lord is gonna uh, is gonna weigh the righteous and the wicked in a balance. You know, and the righteous is gonna prevail and win and, and be delivered and, and be saved. You know, and they're gonna be written in the book of life. But the non elect, they're not gonna stand in judgment. Man, the Lord is gonna take them out. You know, when He judges them. You know, the, 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 uh, they're not gonna. Um, uh, you know, be delivered. You see, it says, verse six, for the Lord Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous. Yeah, so Yahweh by Shemoshah knoweth the way of the righteous, man. You know, he, you know, because it's good to say a man's goings are the Lord. So the Lord knows everything. You know, the Lord knows all our actions before, you know, we even think of, about doing it because he created us. You know, he created our spirit, man, so he knows he knows us more than we do our own selves. It says, but, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah, the way, you know, like I said earlier, being a gulf in black culture, Hispanic culture, Native American culture amongst our people. You know, Esau, Esau establishing his his uh, NWO to try to chip the, uh, to see hit the uh, population with that implantable device that will go on either hands or your forehead, which is a karagma, according to Revelation 13 and 16. You know, that way it's going to perish, man. You know, the Lord's going to throw a monkey wrench in Esau's plans, and he ain't going to prosper, you know, because, you know, Esau trying to establish in his new world, his new world order, you know, that's, that's not a thing of the past. You know, this... This has been, 
the Heat has always tried to accomplish their NWO of bringing everybody together. But the Lord always made it not uh made it not prosperous, man, because it's not the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know? So the Lord's going the Lord gonna destroy Esau, man, and his council. And when Esau think he got everybody's see hip, you know, the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna throw a monkey wrench, man, and everything everything Esau did is it, it's, it's gonna fail. It's not gonna prosper, man. You know, so yeah, I, can, I just wanted to make a quick lesson on that. Low and Aqua Zedify. And uh, until next time, Shalom.